Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of the Tiny M series. In the last episode I was working on a Raspberry Pi heatsink. No cats were harmed in the making of this video. Um, yeah, I was working on modifying this Raspberry Pi heatsink to use M2.5 screws that go through from the top. And uh, yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. I'll figure out a different heatsink. For a lot of people actually what I would recommend is using one of these heatsinks that I found on AliExpress some time ago. I don't even think these are affiliate links so I'm just, I, I'm saying this because I like it not because I'll make money. This is uh, just copper, I think it's 4mm thick or something like that so it's not the thickest piece available but it is easy to mount as you can see and even lets you mount a Raspberry Pi hat on top which is also nice. It also comes with a acrylic backplate which I really didn't need to mount but I mounted it to keep these two pieces together but uh, yeah I think this heatsink would be perfect for this unfortunately I don't have the time to wait for a new delivery of those so I'm probably just going to go with a stepper driver heatsinks or something like that and uh, yeah that will be it I guess so uh, yeah time to work on the electronics. It's been a few days since the last recording in this video and well I've been working on the tiny M but unfortunately I really didn't have time to record anything but also I also didn't have enough time to get to the point where I wanted to get in this episode. Uh, I'll, yeah, I guess I should start with that so uh, I was hoping to film two episodes but that was kind of too optimistic like unreasonable but one episode where I get the printer working etc was the plan but well, the moving companies moved the schedule from Monday to Saturday, so and that two days is a big difference. So I, I ended up just being able to uh, physically assemble the printer, and that's basically it. There was also a problem with the knobs on the motors there. As you can see, at least the right one isn't really tightened. That's a print tolerance issue on my Voron Zero. My Voron Zero currently isn't printing that well and uh, you might have seen some examples of that in the Voron Zero episode as well, like the latest skirts I printed. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but my theory is it's the X, X, uh, X, uh, MGN7 rail because it is uh, really wobbling, like the carriage itself is wobbling, not the plastic part mounted on top, so uh, yeah. I'd, Basically, I have to order a part for that, which is the reason I never really addressed it up to this point. I'll fix it after the move, but uh, yeah, other than the physical assembly, also there's some work on the electronics. I'll put up a picture of that on the screen right now, and well, uh, th that's basically it. Unfortunately, one thing I discovered is the door currently doesn't work, like it opens on this side, but doesn't open on the top. Uh, it looks like I got the tolerances of these uh, black oxide steel panels that I've also wrapped with wet, uh, matte black vinyl wrap. I got the tolerances on that wrong so I'll have to order new ones of these after the move. Hopefully I can find 2mm thick ones because you know freedom units but uh, we'll see. Also I'll have to yeah, uh, wrap the new panels as well in this stuff so again hopefully I can find something that's very close in color because I don't have any spares and I'm, I don't have time to buy one then because they'll be here any minute now I'm recording this on Saturday morning so yeah but at least the drawer works so there is that so um, yeah that's the update on the tiny M sorry if I couldn't do much more I know this was kind of a short episode but don't worry we will continue after the move and uh, as I said the plan for this is to turn this into a really high uh, well really relative to what I do usually a high temperature printer so stay tuned for that but it might take a few months up to, uh, from today which is early December so uh, you know set your expectations based on that but I'm probably releasing this video a little late as well so I guess we'll see. <laughs> 